Hello everybody, I'm Alfred and the video we are about to watch and listen to is basically the trailer for the Nutsman. So let's check it out. Now behold. You know this image looks CGI. You know, I doubt there's really a place like like this in the world, but it, it the the the, cra the use of CGI and CGI being very realistic really helps to advance cinema and how things look. But this particular scene, it looks CGI. You know, you know the setting, the atmosphere. You know, for to get the clouds this way, the bed moving. You know, in that direction that you want to direct people's attention to. You know, and then this kind of um, scenario, you know, with the mountain shape and you know the um, um, habitat where people live, just on it, you know, just like that. I doubt that there's really a place that is shaped quite like this in the world. You know, this is pure CGI. And see how that, you know, complements this particular scene. The background is interesting how backgrounds in spite of how realistic they are they are just um, in a lot of cases they are just playing CGI he's here he's here father father is here the king my lady the king your fate is set and you cannot escape it how oh, I've missed you my son one day this kingdom will be yours Thank you, Father. My King. Father! Remember for whom you shed your last teardrop. I can feel now. This is very interesting. So the father is a king. The father got killed by another king, which is basically conquest and what people did back then. You know, it's, it's interesting that of course we live in a day and age where African Americans want to, you know, act like oh the world has been so unfair to them. Oh this um um colonizers they came to colonize blah 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 but that is what everybody was doing you know that is what african tribes were doing to other african tribes other african tribes were conquering killing and colonizing and wiping out other tribes that is a fact you know the same thing with the native uh Amer native americans you know they are wiping out each other they, you know the several uh, native american tribes they're wiping out each other they were killing each other you know they were conquering each other and that was basically sadly how strength was looked upon but it was after the age of christianity the age of etiquette and you know thanks to certain british kings you know that set the pathway for people to not look at um dominance as greatness in that sense you know you know that um is a big change so you can give um white people you know people of european descent you can give them credit for ending slavery and that era of colonization in that forceful fashion but not for starting it you know so that is just the fact you know there is like they are kind of being blamed for being the most dominant ones the ones who came out the winners when everybody else was doing it at that time but you know but to back to this story you know this particular king who was killed in this way he probably did the same thing to other um, to another king before him, but you know in this case, this is the son seeing it, you know, the son runs away and for some reason I don't know perhaps um, They did not see the son leave or they did or whether they did not um, quite know, you know, but a prince is often killed also because that is the lineage You know, it's like um, to ensure the dominance and the continuance of the new king the, uh, there is the um, Wiping out of the previous king's legacy so that there won't be a resurgence he won't come back and then later wage a one probably win or, or all of that you know claim a legitimacy to the throne i will save you mother i won't kill you father why would he stow away to such a hellish place to find what was stolen from me and what is that the kingdom you must choose between kindness 
for your kin, or hate for your enemies. Your strength breaks men's bones. Ah! I have the cunning to break their minds. Ah! And night by night, we will carry out my pledge of vengeance. I will avenge you, father. I will avenge you, father. I will save you, mother. You know, this idea of making the woman so powerful in that, um, in, in a masculine way is quite sad. You know, women are strong, but women are strong when they are women. You know, when they, are, they understand femininity and they use femininity to their advantage. That doesn't mean spreading their legs or trying to use um, that which is beneath their waist to get their way. But, you know, there is a feminine wisdom, feminine um, charm, a feminine um, um, mode of um, thinking and, you know, understanding and strategizing that is a strength of a woman. You know, not in a woman trying to be tough and action, you know, like a man you know this is um, something which is unfortunate and should not be done it, it sends the wrong image it's it inspires the wrong um, thing for women to strive to and, and to see as strengths you know something that they can never achieve and attain like men women will never be better men than men women will never be stronger men than men it will never happen and men will never be better women than women you know men will never be better at being women than women that is just the fact so each one should play to their strengths you know so you see this kind of image of the woman you know and the her eyes being in this you know gives a supernatural vibe and feel to it you know and giving her this whole alexander the great con conqueror's kind of look is crazy you know it, it is not the best Anyway, that being said, if you like to be a part of making Christian entertainment and Christian movies, movies that will really transform and shape the world and, you know, um, change the way people think, reach out to us on our Fred.VIP. We are looking forward to hearing from you. If you have not given a life to Christ, click the Salvation Prayer link in the main menu of our Fred.VIP. You know, also know that there is a Salvation Prayer link in the description below. Click that link, a page will come out as a prayer of salvation. Say that prayer and give your life to Christ. Thank you and God bless you.